Hey guys, what's up? This is Val. Welcome back. I promised a video on how to make gas characters speak and using Speechilo and some cool tricks. So that's what I want to show you today. And in fact, I'm going to do a few, a bunch of these videos throughout the next days or weeks because there are several ways to achieve this um, trick. So first of all, I'm at Speechilo here and I just entered a simple phrase. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? Now, some of the voices have issues with the word DAS. For instance, I found this one, English, British, AI voice, Brooke, to really pronounce that perfectly. If I just preview that real quick. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? This is really excellent, right? And I've also have here a rendered uh, version of that with perfect sound. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? As you can see, the quality is simply amazing. I just love Speechlow. So if I choose another voice here, let's say Canadian voice and just pick AI Sophia and preview that. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? That doesn't sound as good, right? So some of the voices are better, some are not as good at, you know, picking up the word DAS and so forth. And also there's obviously training videos here that help with uh, adding specific signs, dots, and whatnot to make them really pick up um, the flow of, of the language and so forth. So for now, I'm going to just stick with, uh, let's see, English, uh, British, AI voice, Brooke, and have that uh, saved. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? Perfect. So once you have that, you know, uh, generated, you can download it and that ends up as a P, uh, MP3 file. So we can just go ahead and click on download. That will download the file and let me just uh, locate it. There we go. And I'll just put it in here and play it back. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? Now, DAS cannot import mp3 files so we're going to first convert it into the wave format and for that i'm going to be using audacity so this is a free software and if you don't have it you can get it from download.com let me just show you that real quick so just go to download.com it will probably forward to cnet.com or something like that download cnet.com and you just enter audacity There we go. And that's the one you want, the, the one here, the free version. Just click on download and install it. Now, once we have that fired up, what I'm gonna do is go to file, open and open that MP3 file. Go, click there, click on open and immediately go to export and as a wave. And just simply select it here, save. Okay, now I can close that and we have a wave version of that same file. Um, Windows Media Player. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? Okay, so today's you know, thing is going to be about a uh, kind of, let me just bring this down a little bit, a manual approach to this. Um, so we have here a character, Sonia, with some hair and outfit, and there is a menu inside DAS called audio. And I've already added this audio. Basically, you just uh, click here to browse. I have it already loaded, so I'm not going to add it here, but you just simply click on that, click on open, and then it's going to, you know, just select um, start at frame zero, automatically adjust range and so forth. And you can just play it back here, right from DAS Studio. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. How are you doing? Now, 
older dance versions i can't recall if it was two or three or something like that way many years back uh, when you did this the audio kind of ended up here at the bottom you can you can see the waveform you know the the, uh, the 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 sound going up and down and so forth and right now i i haven't found a way to do that so we're gonna borrow a different software just to see how the waveform looks like because we need that to time the effects on our character click accept when you're done and now I've loaded this audio here in Movie Studio. You can pretty much use any software that will show this waveform, right? And this is what we need so we know at which frame the different uh, vocal sounds are, are made. So, and like I said, they are automatic and they are manual ways of doing all this. And today I'm showing a manual approach. I'm going to redo this video or do some other video. Um, maybe next week and uh, showing you some automatic uh, uh, takes uh, as well. So this is how the waveform looks like, right? If we play back. Hey there, I'm a DAS character. And, and I'm so impressed by speech law, by the way. Can you guys, this is, this is a, a, an AI voice. Listen to this. Hey there, I'm a DAS character and I can speak. This is incredible. One of the best I, I've heard, you know. So if you haven't grabbed that already, go and grab it. It's just amazing. It's not flawless. I'm not saying that. It has pitfalls. It has you know drawbacks like any software, but it is one of the best I've heard for that price point. So um, what I'm going to do is simply scroll here and see at which frame the first vocal sound starts, which is hey or H or H-E. So uh, if you want to kind of break it down, right? And that goes on to here, I think, when the next starts. There. So, hey is here and there is here, right? So now you know that at frame five, you got the word or vocal sound H, E, then you got Y or A, hey, and then you got there over here, right? The, the sound, A, A sound and y which is kind of like a right hey there sorry there and with an r so now that we know that it's practically frame 5 going on to 10 11 something like that and 11 the next starts and ends at somewhere at 19 all right so this is the only uh reason why we need the software to see the waveform it's very important to me if we don't know that we're kind of operating in blind and we don't want to do that Working blind is not fun. Now, having a character selected, if you go to parameters, in post controls, you can find all kinds of sound options. Can you see that? Uh, A, H, R, F, whatever, I can't even pronounce this right. O, and so forth. Sh, t, no, th, and so forth. They are all here, so you can animate these on the timeline. So all you do now is go to uh, the timeline. All right, you have the sound already added, although it's not showing. And what I've done here is I've added, I've simply added a keyframe at the start to zero everything. And then at frame five, I'm raising, uh, let me just see which one it is. Uh, there we go, I'm raising here something, let me just show you. There we go. Um, here at frame five, at frame four, I did a, an extra keyframe with nothing. And at frame five, I'm raising the A, which is hey. There is there is no H here because H is not a sound. H is just a letter, right? Uh, it's basically hey. Uh, and uh, the kind of it's lacking a little bit. Maybe some of the sounds are lacking here. This is, these uh, vocal sounds have been here forever uh, in the DAS menu here. Um, but uh, you can go around that by just picking the, the, the closest thing, right? So I'm just raising it up a little bit. Hey, all right. And then I'm raising A at the end, all right. And then I'm starting with 
the th sound and going with a that there right and ending with ta da r r r all right so hey there so si simple you know keyframes and what you do is you simply at the correct frame we raise it up a little bit you click on add a keyframe then you move it simply a few notches uh, change it up here how much you want and click on add keyframe that's that's how easy this is so i've done this a little bit here on just the first two words hey there and as you will notice i'm not going full i'm just going 50 depends on if they're shouting or screaming you don't want to go too much and if you are following the voice precisely which i'm doing right now i'm following that that wave i showed you here right exactly where it starts but the thing is often you might want to tweak the uh, uh, the animation slightly earlier because our brains can't follow that um, in, in as rapidly right so we're gonna when we have rendered the animation I'm gonna shift it back one frame so there we go let me just play it back hey there I'm a okay Pretty cool. Hey there. I'm a now what you also can do, obviously, is add some kind of add some kind of idle animation to your character, right? So we can select Sonya here and just go for uh, some kind of uh, animation blocks like idles, so that she's not completely static. Let me see which one I can use here. Not ah, this one. Ah. It's too much motion. Too much. I think I'll go with this one. All right. So, um, in order to add that idle animation, I'm just gonna go here and open up Animate Two and throw it in here. All right. That's it. So we've got one layer creating the idle animation and one layer, as you can see now. Uh, creating the uh, the, uh, the vocal sounds. Now I'm gonna render this out very simple, very quick, and just render out the first 20 frames, maybe 40 frames, 50 frames. So what I'm gonna do is simply select HD. Uh, not sure why that ended up like that. There we go. And um, I'm just gonna do a very very quick one here. One. Let's just use quality. Yeah, let's just stick to one, that's good. I'm gonna render 200 frames, 200 samples for a quick animation. And I'm gonna now choose image series 0 to 50, just 51 frames in total. Use JPEG, call her talk, and choose the folder. So we'll just choose the folder we already have, which is sound. There we go. And basically, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, Picture the camera here. Uh, do some very, very simple lighting. I haven't even checked how this looks like. And just hit render. So this is a very, very basic, you know, um, sequence. It's gonna render pretty rapidly. I'm only rendering uh, 200, you know, iterations per frame. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes and then it's gonna be done. So I'm gonna just uh, pause this video real quick and uh, frankly i can just check how frame one ends up it's done here right yeah this is more than enough right uh just a quick rendering uh setup all right so i'm gonna let this render and then i'm gonna see you in the video editing software i'm gonna bring this animation into the software here movie studio and just match it with the sound. And I'm gonna shift it backwards one frame to make the animation kind of an early bird so that it sounds a little bit better and matches better. All right guys, so I'll see you in a second. All right, perfect. I think I rendered 47 frames, something like that. And I'm just gonna import it now, the sequence. So I'm gonna use add media, click on the first one and open image sequence click on open use 30 frames per second 
and there we go all right so that is pretty much it and i'm going to just throw in a video track there we go and i think that's it this is the default timing right now so let me just shift this so we can here follow along what's happening and i'm going to use quality preview full hopefully i can record and screen record and play back at the same time let's see how it looks hey there i'm a das character cool 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 all right we have some motion let's see hey there i'm a das that was pretty okay right you can always fine tune you know the vocal sounds in das like i said they're one perfect or 100 percent uh, and like I said, I also want to try to uh, fire up the animation sequence slightly earlier, right? So let me do that one frame earlier. Let's go here and here. So I'm going to just simply remove one frame. That's it. And I move it backwards so it starts earlier one frame earlier and that's often the case you you off very often need to do that let's play back again uh, see what happens hey there i'm a dusk cool all right perfect uh, hey there i'm a dusk character so we can have more fun with this like I said, I'm going to do a, an additional video next week because I am so impressed by Speechlo. It's, you know, it, it's, it's a software I'm going to be using for a very, very long time for many, many things. Uh, uh, I'm just blown away by it. You know, I've outsourced voiceovers throughout the years and it costs a lot and takes a lot of time. And the quality that you can get with Speechlo is simply breathtaking. Plus, you can also buy a license to sell your voiceovers or sound. So it's it's pretty amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is end this video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to see you most probably next week. I'm going to do a follow-up on this and just have a go and play with different tactics of getting your dance characters to talk. All right. Have fun, guys, with your animations. And I'll see you soon again.